this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button that you'll see uh, underneath the video. Also, when you're done watching this video, if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. There is a share button underneath this video also that makes it easy for you to share it with your friends and family. I would appreciate the help in growing my channel. So today is Tip Tuesday. I am going to just show you very quickly how to use a tool that is actually for er erasing mistakes when you're glass painting. Now I just got this tool. This is also kind of a review too because it's from Jelly Bean Fitzhenry. I love, 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 love her glass brushes. These are the Glass Art by Dynasty. This is the number 76 and this is a cleanup tool. Along with this set I got a stipple tool and I am just starting to use that so I'll show you kind of how that works. I'm also going to be using, now this is not part of the set, but using my uh, number 12 Royal Aqualon Filbert brush and then just a flat brush, number 8. And this is plaid uh, one stroke brushes. This video is not for the intent of the design I'm doing, it's more to show you how to use the tool or a couple of the tools since I got both of these. So let's go ahead and get started. For the purpose of the video, again, it's not about the design I'm doing, it's about how to use the tool to clean up. So like say I just make a mistake or I get these too close together. Well, actually, now I'm saying that, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> say I wanted to have a space more like what I had here, or at least a little bit of a space. Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. This tool will be good for cleaning cleaning little errors up. If you, you know, feel that you made a mistake, you don't have to actually wa wash the gloss, glass off and start all over. You just merely use this tool to clean it up. There are other tools like this on the market. Actually, in using this, I really, really like it. It does a nice job in cleaning up the area. See how clean that is? And you can go back over. I'm just kind of brushing it off. And you can go back over it if you wish to finish cleaning it. Have a little space right here where it came kind of accumulated. Say I don't like this, this tip right here. Maybe I don't like the fact that there's a bunch of paint right there. I can just easily clean it off. And again, you have to keep the tool clean in order to get a nice clean edge. But I think it's very easy to do with this tool. So I'll just show you again. Like say I don't want this right here. I'm just going to go like that and clean it up. I like it. I've, I'm really impressed with it. I just have to make sure that I clean it off. Now I'm going to go to this little tool that came with it. And this is a stipple, stipple brush. And this is just putting light pressure on it. And just patting it. I mean literally just stippling it. But you can go around in a circle with it if you choose to do it that way. And go like that. Or if I want to add some light into it. I can easily just kind of direct that where I want it to go. Say I want it to look more like a, like this is the center. You can easily do that with this. I mean, a lot of times I'm using the um, scruffy brushes, but this, like, so this is kind of a substitute for that, but a little bit different because of the way the, the bristles are. And you just do and light tapping on it. And this actually would be good for some certain uh, flower designs too. I could see that right now. So you can turn it a little bit. But these brushes, you can't beat the Dynasty Art, the um, gloss art brushes. You, you really can't. So with this whole design, I'm just going to go in here. I was going to do some leaves with it. 
just do some straight leaves. Simple. With a flat brush. And let's just pretend. I'm just going to kind of wipe this off. But I don't like, so I don't like this part of it. So I'm just going to go right down here and take it off. There you go. Pretty easy, pretty clean. Do it over here. Same thing. I'm just lifting straight up so I don't encourage the spreading of that. And there you go. It's pretty darn easy. Now, I will leave a link down below for you to be able to buy brushes from her. Again, these are brushes that, in watching her videos, she actually had Dynasty designed for her. So this is pretty, pretty awesome that she did this. So, again, I can't be more impressed with them. No matter which brushes I try, I just, I love them. I just, I really do. I haven't found one that I don't like. Very good for coverage purposes. And I'm just going to go in here and just show you again. You know, before your, your paint gets wet, or wet, excuse me, dry, you know, should be making any kind of uh, changes that you need to on this. So this one's a little bit dry, so it's not working as well. But clean up those those spots. As soon as you see that you've made a mistake or overshot something, and you'll be good to go. Definitely good to go. All right, so that's it. That's for my Tip Tuesday. Again, this is not about the design. It's about the tools. It's kind of a review of this product. I love it. If you have tried these, let me know down in the comments below. I will again provide a link down below where you can look into these brushes. I highly, highly re recommend. Even if you use regular brushes to have a set of these on hand, they're awesome for coverage purposes, which if you are someone that does a lot of gloss painting, you know the thicker the coverage you can put on a gloss without it being too thick, because you don't want it to bubble if you're, if you're going to bake it the more durable that makes the painting on the glass. So again, I appreciate you stopping back or stopping by if you're here for the very first time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and share, share, share. I'd appreciate it. Until the next video, you have a good one. See you then.